Hey friend, welcome. I am sitting in my car today because I'm about to go thrifting, but not thrifting in my little small town Midwest town thrifting. I am in Durham, North Carolina, and I'm really excited. When I googled thrift stores in Durham, this popped up. And that's a lot of red dots. It's some consignment stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army, but then some other like I don't know. We're just going to explore. Well, I'm going to explore and I'm going to show you what I got. I would do a little thrift with me, but one day I'll get a GoPro and do that. But today's not that day. I'm about to go into this little place called Rumors and it looks pretty cool from the outside. I do buy things to resell on eBay, so I'll show you what I got. Well, that was really cute. Way overpriced. Not way overpriced if you were just shopping, but to resell too much for me. I did buy one sweater. I'm not gonna do a great job of showing it to you, but it is wool, it is vintage, and it is made in Ireland. It's called Eater Knit. There's that. Anyway, it's like beige, tan, brown colors. It's really pretty. I'm doing a terrible job of showing it to you. Anyway, they had it priced at $16. The When I went to check out, she was like, wow, this is only $16. I was like, yeah, I know. She was like, well, good for you. She kind of was a little snippy about it, but that's okay. I'll forgive her. Um, I think I can sell that for about $70. I'll probably price it around $100. We'll see. I could be completely wrong, but I think so. All right, I'm heading to Goodwill because it's evening and so none of like the locally owned shops are open yet, but I'm thrifting again tomorrow. So heading to Goodwill now. Well, that did not end up going as planned. I had intended on going into each store and then when I was done in the store, showing you the few items that I got, but that Goodwill was incredible. <laughs> it was very good. There were like bins at the back and um yeah kind of like a goodwill outlet it wasn't per pound it was by the piece and it was like a dollar 99 i think so i ended up not actually getting very many items out of that bin but the racks were amazing so i'm going to show you what i got and then i will show you what i bought at the other thrift stores i ended up at seven different thrift stores over the course of four days and i, I had so much fun so i found so many uh, brands that i just don't normally find or find very rarely here in my small town in the midwest so let me show you what i got at the goodwill this is white house black market which is like a similar to like Chico's and J. Jill, but this is like a cardigan sweater, but it has some shimmer in there. And then it has these pearls. It's very like a more mature kind of thing, but it was new with tags. So I don't, let's see, I figured up my average cost of goods on this trip and I forgot what it was. I'll put it on the screen. It was pretty low. My average cost of goods overall was just over $5 per item. I really was trying to just find items that I wouldn't normally find in my area, but there were some just good old trusty brands. Uh, this is Talbot's and this is vintage and it is a coat. It looks like it did have a hood at one point, but I don't think that will matter. But it is, man, my, <laughs> the sunshine is... A little bright coming through that window uh, it's just a wool like a, a pea coat it's single breasted so it is wool and man, I'm doing a terrible job of showing you aren't I it's like a mid it's not very long but it you know it hit like past the hips I will say there's a lot in this haul so if you have something to do some dishes some laundry some photographing maybe grab one of those or maybe do one of those and if you don't maybe grab a coffee or something and just hang out so this is pure jill and this is an organic cotton muslin tunic it is quite long a tunic is like split on the sides there that's how you know it's tunic it is really 
nice and cozy like not cozy like warm but I don't know it is a I would say that's a popover but popovers usually have buttons this doesn't have buttons but it's just like a pullover top it has a collar it's really nice it's very soft I, <laughs> my my adjectives are not coming to me today this is Talbot's again this is a newer Talbot's and this is an extra small I just thought that the um, pattern on that was very nice and this Goodwill was quite cheap this does have a little bit of wool in it enough that I can call it a wool blend but not enough for, for it to be very wooly but um I think their sweaters were like four dollars and so my 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 goal was to find things that I don't normally find and then you know I was going to you know if they were just cheap enough I was gonna go ahead and buy things these are Sorel kid boots like winter boots I I don't know they're kind of dirty I need to throw them in the wash and we'll see what happens but um, I don't really have a reason I bought them there you go and then I also bought a teeny tiny little pair of baby Crocs I think I can probably sell these for like 15 or $20 I'm not sure they are really dirty but Crocs wash up really well in the washing machine I am noticing that that is really worn off like the little croc um, symbol but I don't know if that will matter or not let's see this is Soma I'm not gonna do comps for all of these like regular <laughs> call them regular items stuff that I just find a lot most of these items I'll be able to sell between 15 and $20 this is a pajama top and it's Paisley. Soma is a brand. I, for me, it sells a little bit like Victoria's Secret. This is, oh, this is one of the things that I found in that bin. So it cost me like $2 or less, but this is Columbia and it's just a little like cargo skirt it does have the ripstop material it looks like so it has like little squares uh, within the material so ripstop is exactly what it just sounds like it stops the fabric from ripping farther um, which is great for hiking and such I love to hike I've never hiked in a skirt but that doesn't mean people don't I don't know I also found this in that little bin let's see I looked man they were shoved full so it was hard to look in this this is the brand vineyard vines and it is a hundred percent lambs wool and I just thought you know hats are pretty easy to list and to sell and to ship so for you know a little over two dollars I will buy that I also found this okay, I don't know what this brand is um Nishiki but these are legging, like black leggings. Oh, sorry about that. I'm terrible with this videoing thing. It does have a little um, slit in the hem. But if you can see, this has a padded bum. So this is specifically for biking, for like cycling. Which I can imagine would feel much nicer on your bum if you are... Um, you know cycling so this says a Nishiki woman's specifics I don't know I have sold quite not a quite a few a few bike shorts and one like a one-piece bike thing but it's beautiful out my windows are open so if you hear my kids that's my life um what was I gonna say about that I've sold some bike items bike shorts and things like that I know that there is nicer brands within those, but I don't really know what they are. I'm not sure about that specific brand. I should do comps for you, but um, we'll get to some in a little bit. This uh, has a sticker on the label. <laughs> Somebody labeled their swimsuit. So this is a Land's End swimsuit. It is a size 12. It's kids. And this was also in their like little bin thing. I wonder if I 
change sides if that'll be helpful. All right, so it's just like a little one shoulder ruffle swimsuit, little kid swimsuit. I thought it was very cute. Land's End has quality swimming suits, especially for kids. So I know this because I'm a mom. <laughs> This is, oh, this is one of the brands that I just don't find very often. And this also has a sticker on the label. What is it with the stickers on the labels? Okay, well, you can't really see that, but I can tell that it is Eileen Fisher. And so this is a navy blue sweater. It is kind of lightweight. Can't, I don't know. There's not really anything very interesting about it. There's no wool. It's a viscose, nylon, and spandex. Um... But Eileen Fisher is a pretty well sought after brand. I actually, this does have like a ribbed sleeve. This sleeve is called something where it's like really skinny, but I forget what it is. This is a size medium. That is an oversized medium. I will say that somebody recently in a video was like, oh, plus size Eileen Fisher has a really good sell through rate. And I was like, I'm going to check that out. So I just searched like, Eileen Fisher plus size and it was like 46% sell through rate. So nothing like there wasn't shirts or pants or anything. It was just plus size Eileen Fisher overall has a 46% sell through rate, which is like, I think that's a really good sell through rate. I try to hit about 25% or higher. This is soft surroundings, which I do find in my area, but this is a, it's just a plain, jersey maxi dress and it is brown and a tank top their dresses were only priced at like five dollars and i found a ton of dresses at this goodwill it was fantastic this is fresh produce and it is a 2x um i think i have sold everything but one fresh produce item that i found this I just thought was really fun. It's a short sleeved kind of midi dress, just Jersey. I believe fresh produce is all cotton. Let me see if I can find that out for sure. I am absolutely wrong. This is rayon and spandex, um, but it is made in the US. This is Talbot's again. That is an old tag. I would say even probably um, vintage goodness sorry my brain turned off but this says pure silk and indeed it is a silk dress it is um what would we call that i get sheath and shift dress mixed up but this is probably more like an a-line dress uh but it's floral and it is like sheer silk and then it is lined and the lining i believe was polyester but silk and Talbots are a good combination. Probably $25 is what I would sell that for. Matilda Jane, another little dress. See what I mean? So many cute dresses. This one, I love Matilda Jane. Uh, they sell like kids clothes, but then they also sell adult clothes. So this is an adult little dress. It is kind of a cap sleeve there and the pleating on that in the front is really pretty. I just really like those colors. I thought it was really cute. One of my daughters wore a Matilda Jane dress for Easter and then I sold it. It was great. <laughs> this I did comp in the store and it is called The Shirt. And it was new with tags. This is an extra small and it's a mess. It's like got all tangled up in my thing. I thought this had a, yeah, here's the rest of it. Uh, so it does have like a little slip underneath and then it is a shirt dress and it has, it's sheer, obviously it goes over that little slip, but it has this little ruffle, that really cute floral print. And then there's kind of like a shimmery stripe that goes through it. I don't know if you can see that. But there's pleating on there and some more ruffles on the bottom. And I believe this sold new for, like on resale, was like $40. And 
I don't remember off the top of my head, but it was good enough that I was willing to pay, you know, $5 for it. And this I got, it is J. Crew Factory. Those little dots mean it's factory underneath there. This is a wool blend dress, and this just screamed academia to me. Uh, you know, pleated on the front there, and just the like kind of textury pattern. And I mean, it's, I would still call that a solid, but it has almost like a tweed look to it to me. I don't know. It just feels very academia. And I was in Durham, North Carolina, where Duke University is. And so I thought, you know what? We'll see if that will sell. I'm still on the dresses. <laughs> this is another fresh produce dress. This one is another 2X. And this is just like a blue sleeveless. This one is more like a knee length. Oh, I think it has pockets. Oh, it has patch pockets on it. So the pockets are on the outside, which, you know, pockets on the dress, always a bonus. If you're a woman, you'd probably know. This I comped in the store and this was in the dresses, but I think they only charged me for a shirt, which was like $4. This is Joe Brown's, and I had to comp it. It is new with tags. This is like a 3X, and probably I would even say oversize, an oversized 3X. Um, but it is a faux wrap top. My camera doesn't really like black, so I hope that's coming through. Um, I don't remember what the comps were, but they were. it was good enough for me to buy it. Um, and when I say that, when I am spending $5 on an item, I want to make like $20 on it. I try to aim for like a sales price of around 35 or 40. And then, you know, like I said, the, the sell through rate at about 25 or higher, um, the higher, the better. This is another fresh produce. This one's only a one X, but it is a gray floral short sleeve it's probably a midi dress let's see is this one rayon too i didn't check that other one that blue one yep rayon and spandex so i also went through all the jeans and i did find some regular jeans that i would just normally buy for five dollars anyway and then i found a few pair that were really good and i i felt like i was finding good enough stuff that I was like even checking all the maternity jeans which is kind of a pain because you have to like pull back you know like the panels and stuff it's like buried in there the the labels but I was really hoping to find something by Hatch I never did I had a couple things in there that I really wanted to find I wanted to find Hatch I wanted to find Johnny Wise I wanted to find Patagonia uh there was something else I was kind of like oh I really hope I find this I don't think I found any of that. That's not true. I found some Patagonia, but we'll talk about that in a bit. This is Torrid. Uh, this is a 22 jegging and Torrid is a brand that I pick up a lot. I buy to resell. And so this has a raw hem and it sells for me. The jeans, I'm trying to think if I've sold any of the jeans. I have never found Madewell jeans, and I hear that these are good. These are called the 10 inch Road Tripper. These are a size 28, which is a smaller size. I like to find more average sizes or plus size even, but these are skinny jeans. So let's look up <laughs> Madewell Road Tripper jeans and see what happens. I think I fixed my light problem. We'll see. So this isn't great. The Madewell Road Tripper jeans are 129 sold. No, 129 listed, 16 sold. That's not great. Um, it's a 11% sell through rate, but they are sold 35, 32, 25, 30, uh, 20, 15. So, you know, <laughs> 
Uh, maybe I don't always make good choices. Uh, sometimes I just get excited, especially when I see a brand that I hear a lot about and don't ever see. I have found a few Madewell shirts. Um, one that was new with tags at a garage sale that still hasn't sold. And I think I found like a sweater or something that I did sell at one point, but I just get really excited and I don't look things up and that's not great. <laughs> I should always look things up. I did look up a lot of things, but most of the items that I did look up, I also left because they weren't a good sell through rate. So you won't hear about those. <laughs> this are Adriano Goldschmied jeans. And again, this is a brand. I've never found this brand. This, these are little teeny tiny jeans. Like I don't even think these would fit my 12 year old. They're a size 25. So maybe they would fit my 12 year old. Uh, they are kind of a low rise. I would say that that is a straight leg. And yeah, I would say that's a straight leg. So this is a tomboy crop is the size, uh, the, not the size, the uh, style, thank you. So Adriano Gold Schmied Jeans Tomboy Crop. I'm just putting that into the eBay search and Let's filter it by condition used and size. What did I say that was a 25? So that looks like there's 22 that are listed for sale and sold 10. Okay, that's better. I can do that. So 10 divided by 32, which is a total amount that were available within the last 90 days is a 31% sell through rate. That's I I'm I'm better off. I like that better. However, the solds okay, there's one sold for 30, one for 25, but one for 19, one for 12.50. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it works out. These are Levi's perfect waist, so they have like a elastic band in the waist of a 525 straight leg. I did not comp these because I'm going to try them on for myself and see if they fit me. I am 42 and I enjoy a comfort waist. <laughs> I'll just say that, I guess. This is Torrid and again, a comfort waist. These are a 22. Uh, so not my size. And let's see, this is, I found it somewhere. Oh, it says right there, bombshell straight right there. And you know, like I said, I think Torrid jeans and I mean, Torrid is just a plus size brand in general. Oh, this was moth and moth is, am I doing that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> moth is a anthropology brand. This is a size small, but it is a very oversized a wool blend blue cardigan and it's like a blue and gray what would we call that like a space dye like a heathered look kind of um, but it's knit so it does have I believe I don't want to call that a waterfall front um, but maybe that's what it is called I feel like the waterfall is more like a straight down whereas this has kind of like the pointy. I'm very, very good with what, you know, that's like a triangle piece um, that falls then to, so it's a, you know, an open front kind of cardigan. Man, I'm terrible at showing these, aren't I? All right, here we go. So I did look this up in the store. I will look it up again. How does that sound? So there are three listed exactly like the one that I have. Uh, they're all listed around $30. None of them are sold. So we'll see. These are Hudson jeans and I have heard lots of different things about Hudson jeans. Some say they're fantastic. Some say they're not so fantastic. I will tell you that I bought these for two reasons and I'm not seeing a size. That's not good. Yes, it is. It's in there. These are a size 29. 
but these I guess there's more than two reasons these are light wash these are um, very low rise and these are very wide legged um, I don't know that I would call these a flare they're more like a just wide leg and then they also have these patch pockets not patch pockets the flap on the pockets so I'm not I don't know everything about style and I could be completely off on these but I think that these are gonna do well I think this is Bowdoin Bowdoin is a brand that I really enjoy finding I think it sells pretty well this is a small just a little shirt with that gray and yellow I love that yellow can you tell uh, <laughs> color with the floral just a little short sleeve top and another pair of jeans these are democracy again with that comfort waist um, I've sold a pair of these before not for as much as I hear people sell them for but the that when they have the ab technology or ab solution anything with that um, elastic waist on there is good for democracy so and these also have a raw hem and a little bit of distressing and the last thing from this goodwill is another dress that got buried this is Columbia but it's Columbia PFG and it is a sleeveless maxi dress with that blue and white stripe so just like a jersey I actually have another PFG sleeveless dress that had really good sell-through rate but hasn't sold for me so I don't know I don't know so I went into another store called pennies for for change and the way it sounded on the internet I thought it was a thrift store but it ended up being a consignment store it was very cool it had a lot of vintage items priced between like 15 and 20 dollars so if you were shopping for yourself it was great in fact I bought this for myself this is not vintage it is uh, Talbot's and it's just a sweater in my favorite color and I don't know if you can see but this is a raglan sleeve which I like I feel comfortable and confident in it so I spent $20 on this sweater which is kind of a lot for me but I was on my anniversary trip and I felt like splurging a little bit and I thought it was gonna be perfect it's not perfect it kind of is a little bit tighter than I want it to be but that's okay I still really like it I'll wear it a few times and then maybe I'll sell it or maybe I'll fall in love with it we'll see they did have some items that were priced kind of like a regular thrift store um, not many I looked through the larger sizes just because I didn't want to spend a lot of time in like extra smalls but I did find Pearl Izumi which when I was talking about the bike pants Pearl Izumi is a bike brand that I hear a lot about so this is a short sleeve zip, um, it zips all the way up the front so I just thought the pattern was pretty cool and then it has all these pockets on the back for I would assume that that's helpful when you're biking where you can put like your water bottle or whatever I don't know I'm not a biker cyclist um, but I just thought this was really cool I don't really know much about Pearl Izumi um, it says pinwheels right there I wonder if that means anything anyway let's look it up together so I am going to just go into uh, eBay and in my search, I am just going to search Pearl. Uh, let's see. Helps if I spell things correctly. Pearl Izumi, I Z U M I, I Z U M I, uh, zip shirt. Let's just try that. Uh, and then I'm going to go, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Okay, wait. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So then I'm going to do condition used and size. It was size large and sleeve length. It is short sleeve. So I'm down to 118 items listed. And then I didn't do category because some of the categories are in like sporting goods and some of them are in clothing. And I don't really know which is the right one to choose. 
So I could do like blue as the color if I wanted to kind of narrow that down a little bit, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's see. I could put that as a woman's because I do believe that this is a woman's. I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to write that pinwheels in here and see what that does. Pinwheels, no exact matches. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to take pinwheels out. So we're down to Pearl Izumi zip shirt uh, used and size large and short sleeve. Got to do all that again. Okay, so 118 listed, and I'm going to scroll down to sold, and there's 40 sold. So 100, so let's see, that's 40 divided by 158. So 118 plus 40 is 158. That's a 25% sell through rate. Okay, I'll take that. And if I show the results, oh boy, yikes. Not great. Okay, we're getting a little better. So 13, 18, 9, 19, 17. Now we're getting to like 25, 23. Okay, I can do, there's one for 30 plus shipping, but the one right before that was 12 plus shipping. So it's all an experiment for me right now. I've only been doing this for just about a year and I'm having a lot of fun, but uh, you know, I'm not, I don't always make the best choices. Oh, I do, look, there's pinwheels on it. See, I thought they were flowers, but now that I read that it says pinwheels, it's definitely pinwheels, interesting. Okay, so maybe I'll do a little more research and see if I can find the exact um, print and see if that gives me anything else. So those are the two items that I bought at that uh, Pennies for Change store. I spent 25 something, it was $5 essentially for that shirt. I showed you this, but I did a really bad job of it in the car, but that is the sweater. I spent 17, 20, I think was my total with tax. It was priced at $16. This is a made in Iceland. We've already talked about this. So I think I'm going to price this at about $100 and hope to get around 70. We shall see. So then I went to Scrap Thrift and this was a, an interesting place. It was, um, well, if you're ever in Durham, you should go <laughs> check it out. But it was interesting. They also had Scrap Exchange and I asked the lady when I was checking out like what the difference was. I was thinking like maybe I should go over there too. And she was said that they sold craft supplies primarily or like only. So I didn't go over there because I don't need any craft supplies. However, I have seen where people sell like yarn and all sorts of craft um, items on eBay. So maybe if that's something you're interested in, you could check out the craft section in your local thrift store. This is Prana. I think that Prana pants do really well. Men's pants, uh, women's shirts, especially in a size small. I don't know so much about, but this place was priced rather reasonably. They did have some like boutique kind of stuff that was way overpriced, including this one. This was $9. It is a Columbia PFG uh, shirt button up in like a mint green and it is vented. So kind of has that like, I don't know. Can you see that? A, like a stripe down the middle of it. There's actually mesh up underneath here. So PFG is performance fishing gear. So apparently it helps keep you cool when you're out fishing. So this is an extra large. I bought it because it was, I believe half off. So 450 is not terrible. I actually do have another one just <laughs> like this, but in a different size and color that I sold and it was returned and then it hasn't sold again. So I don't know. <laughs> this is Eileen Fisher and this is a turtleneck waffle knit. Can you see the waffle knit in there? It's like a purple turtleneck shirt and I thought it was very cute. I don't, I think it's a size small. It is really rather pilled so I'm going to have to 
do that. This one does actually have wool and angora and cashmere in it. So that's good. Eileen Fisher and um, natural fibers is a good combination. Okay, these I bought not because of the <laughs> vanilla jeans. I don't even know. I don't even know what vanilla jeans are. But these have are very low rise and kind of a wide flare leg, but they are all like bedazzled out. <laughs> They're pretty fun. And I'm not really sure what it is about jeans like this, but I have had good luck selling jeans that have all sorts of randomness on them. I'm trying to remember, I think the jeans were $5 at this store. I will put on the screen like what my average price at this store was and how much I bought, how many items. This is another pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans. These are called the Protégé Straight Leg and these are men's. So I went ahead and got two Adriana Goldschmied items because one's men and one's women. So we'll see. I thought that these were pretty nice. I don't really know. Like I said, I'm not great at like the what's in style. I'm not super fashionable, but I do watch some YouTube to hopefully learn a little bit, a lot. This is Athleta. I don't think that Athleta is, I think maybe once upon a time, like people talk about it a lot. So that's Athleta. I don't know anything about if labels new or old or any of that, but this is an extra large. And this is a uh, cardigan sweater. It has, again, that like skinny ribbed arm. It's called something, but I can't think of what it's called. But it's an open, just striped cardigan. It does have like the split on the side. And quite honestly, I might wear this a time or two before I sell it because I think it just looks cozy and I'm a big cardigan fan. <laughs> Huge, actually, I love my cardigans. Let's see. Oh, this is Cloth and Stone. Never found that brand before, but it is just a shirt. It is like a deep teal color. I think I'm going to try and move that light since it's not doing me any favors. Um, but it has like a kind of a poof sleeve. I don't know. It's, I mean, not a big poof, but a little bit of a puffy sleeve there. Um, it's real lightweight and soft. I wonder what it's made of. I like finding that out. It's rayon. Completely rayon. Cloth and Stone is made in the U.S. I'm trying to remember what Cloth and Stone is. I think it might be a Ralph Lauren company or is it an anthropology company? I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure. This is Ishakti. I have found an Ishakti dress and it sold rather quickly. Um, I believe this is a plus size brand. It is made in like India, I think. But do you see the print on this? Isn't that fun with the like rabbits and birds and floral? And then it has the pleating in the front. I mean, it is like cheap polyester, but I just thought it was really cool. All right, I'm just moving y'all around, trying to take care of my uh, light situation. All right, so this is Joie. This is the one with the puff sleeves. So this actually also has shoulder pads. This is a sweatshirt and it's like a blush pink with those, you know, pleated poofy sleeves. I thought it was really cute. Joie, again, I've never found that brand. This is a small, and it is Pima Cotton. That's good. Pima Cotton is good. This is a Talbots. This is a swimming suit and I just thought it was really cute. It has like a halter top. They have it tied way, way too tight. But uh, a halter top and it's like that aqua polka dot. It just kind of looks very like pinup almost. I might, I might use pinup, um, kind of a classic really style, but it's a size eight and 
it is new with tags. They did have this in their like boutique section, but there was not a price tag on it anywhere. So she just charged me what they charge for swimming suits was like, I think $2. So that's, you know, fantastic. <laughs> I will take that. This is the brand Pretty Little Thing, which I just recently heard of. So, oh, I meant to look up that cloth and stone. Oh, well. So Pretty Little Thing, and it is a little ruffle bikini top. So, um, I mean, it's, it's real little. It's like a, well, it's a 12. That's actually not terrible. All right, so if I search Pretty Little Thing ta uh, bikini top floral, uh, there's four that come up pre-owned. And really, it's just two. Let's see. And then sold is there's one and the sold one is like for three bucks that's not great um let's see there's another like not uh, this might have been a bad bad purchase here i'm not really sure okay it's also you know not a great season for <laughs> selling bikini tops but i don't know i'll probably list it for ten dollars i only paid two dollars for this so i don't think that that's terrible i just thought it was really cute the little um ruffle on there on that bottom and I like that little kind of mini floral then this is a J Jill which is a brand I get a lot uh, but this is a Ponty knit and I forget what Ponty knit means I will put a little definition on the screen for you but uh, Ponty knit this is an extra small petite tunic it has a little split at the bottom. It's a longer size or a longer length and it is viscose and nylon and spandex. So stretch, I just thought it was, I don't know, looks like something my stepmom would wear and she likes J Jill. So there we go. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So I looked at this and I was like, oh, what is that? And I couldn't really see anything, but I was like, there's something about this tag that made me go, I know what that is. And sure enough, I looked at the tag that was falling apart. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's smart wool. And smart wool is supposedly amazing. That's the little smart wool guy. And this is a size large. It is like a quarter zip shirt. It is black. So... This would be used for like, and it's like an outdoor brand for like layering and things like that. And this is 100% merino wool. I did not look it over super heavy, but you know, at first glance, I don't see any holes or anything like that. I would love to find one of these in my size. So I did find smart wool sweater at the bins the last time I went and I have it listed for 35 or $40 and I'm not really sure what I can list that for but these are New Balance Minimus they're a barefoot minimal style sneaker I buy these for my kids a lot these do have some wear I just noticed that but then also there's wear along this uh, I don't know what this is called it's kind of like a suede I guess anyway I think I can still probably sell them for around 30, 25 or 30 dollars. I paid I think five dollars for these, so not bad. So then I went to the store called New Nearly New, and it was ridiculous. There were it was way overpriced. I still came home with quite a bit. Um, like this skirt was six fifty, and I feel like I didn't look it up and I should have looked it up so this is 11 by Venus Williams and it is a skort so a skort is a skirt and shorts in one but this is like gray and black so if I search 11 Venus Williams skort First of all, it wants to change its skirt multiple times, um, but there's five listed, four sold, all kind of around the $15, $20 mark, one sold for $10. That's kind of 
not great, but that's a 44% sell through rate. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> this is beautiful. And again, this is moth. So they had this priced at $6.50. This is wool and nylon, but it's just a little like beige wool cardigan sweater. But I love the detail on the top here with the like floral trim. I just thought it was really pretty. And I don't know, moth, moth should do pretty well, I would think, right? This, um, I comped in the store. There was one sold and I don't remember how many listed. It wasn't a great sell through rate, but it also wasn't terrible. I did pay $9.50 for this because that one sold was $50 or not 50, $70 and sold for $70. So this is Turnbull and Asser. I don't know. <laughs> it's a men's button up shirt. And I have just started uh, if I find men's shirts that I don't really know, I've just been looking them up. So this has three buttons. It is in really good condition. In fact, there was another one there and I almost bought them both, but the other one had some discoloration along the collar, um, like a ring around the collar, but this one looks really good. So I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> This is Susan Bristol, and again, $6.50 on this one. This is made in Hong Kong. It is a vintage sweater, cardigan sweater, and all of that is embroidered on there. So I just loved the bright colors of that floral. And I have been, so oh, and also that ribbon detail in there. I just thought that was really cool. A little bit different. And um, I've been selling vintage sweaters like crazy. <laughs> Absolutely just insane. I love finding bras. And it was so funny to me because there were so many things that were like really marked up. And this one was only $350. This is Adore Me. And I don't really know this brand, but I think it's a, a more expensive brand. This is just, it feels really well made and it looks impeccable. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, I always check in here in the cups for like discoloration and um, there's often like creasing in the cups, but I mean, I find that in brand new bras, so. And then I check here on the like hooks in the eyes to make sure that those are all okay. And then I just make sure like it's not stretched out or anything. So this is Adore Me, it's a 38G. And I don't know, I just really like selling bras. I at one point was like, I'm never selling bras again. <laughs> and then I keep buying them <laughs> because they just have sold really well for me. So this, um, the woman was a little mad at me <laughs> because I bought this. Uh, they had it priced at 750 and then she saw the tags and she was like, oh, that shouldn't have been 750 <laughs> And I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. So I don't know if I said this store was called New Nearly New. And they had, it just was all really marked up. And they had lots of, uh, they had, okay. So some of the tags were 25, 50, and 75% off. I don't think I found any of those. Actually, I feel like the orange might have been. 75% off now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this was, uh, this is Bob Mackie. Oh my goodness. I'm so dis scatterbrained right now. Okay. The store, <laughs> they had white tags that were like way priced up. So I did find two Patagonia jackets there and they had them priced at like $30. I couldn't even sell them for $30. Um, they were like not jackets, but like fleece zip ups. Um, I checked the comps because I know some Patagonia stuff can go for like a hundred dollars. And I thought, well, if I can sell it for a hundred dollars, then sure I'll spend 20 or $30 on it. But that was not the case. They had so many Lily Pulitzer dresses, but they were all priced at like $25. There was, I mean, they had a lot of really nice items, but they also had them priced very, very high. 
So this was a uh, Bowdoin. All their Bowdoin was priced up, but they apparently had missed it. <laughs> this it was six fifty, and I think I don't remember if blue was one. Of, I don't remember the colors. Anyway, this is a skirt. I got I got distracted. I didn't go back to the Bob Mackie yet, but this has a little bit of. Um, I don't know if I would call that floral, but it does have quite a bit of pilling. I don't know if you can see that. Pilling is like where the material makes little balls. But you can just take a sweater shaver to that and it's good. So back to this. This Bob Mackie, I have sold quite a few, I want to say three or four Bob Mackie um, jackets like this. And they're usually embroidered and like kind of fancy. I don't know. I've never found one with tags still attached, so that's kind of exciting. We'll see how that does. And then this is Pendleton. Let's see. I think this is one that they had. They did have a rack of like their priced up their their white tags that were half off. I thought this was on it, but it wasn't. This they had priced at seven fifty, and I did pay seven fifty for this. So this is uh, Pendleton Sophisticates, which I have never sold, but I've sold a lot of Pendleton lately. So this was three pieces. It has this vest and this like, jacket goes over it. It's like very shirt material. It, I mean, it doesn't, it's not structured or anything. So, but I would, I would imagine he would wear that as a jacket. And so this is a size 10 and then it has this skirt as well. And the skirt I think is just kind of amazing. Definitely reminds me of like 80s, early 90s, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. I just thought it was kind of cool. I paid probably a little too much at that store for the items that I bought, but I was... I don't know <laughs> sometimes I get in a mood and I'm like I have to find things and and I pay too much for things my I don't know if I said already but my average cost of goods for the whole trip was about five dollars per item which is fine uh, in general I try to keep my cost of goods to under two dollars and I will tell you I came home and I was like oh, I can't wait to go to my favorite thrift store again where my cost of items cost of goods is so low because uh, I, I had a little bit of sticker shock um, on this trip, but I know it was worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. So two more stores. This this store was actually the first store that I went to, and the first thing I pulled out is probably the best thing that I found the whole trip. This is Ibex, and Ibex is like an outdoor brand, and it has a picture of, if you don't know, this is an Ibex. Uh, it's an animal. It, in the like deer family it's like an antelope or something kind of um, but this is a jacket that is a zip up um, had some words on it somewhere to help me identify it but I believe I can sell this jacket for $70 it is a woman size large and that's good because I paid $14 for it which is a lot for me but you're seeing a trend here I've been just spending a little bit more money. So hopefully that my price, my items that I buy, that I sell, then will sell at a higher, higher cost as well. So this is J. Jill, uh, oh my. This is J. Jill Love Linen and it is a linen purpley pink uh, dress, shift or sheath, I don't remember which is which. One of them is just like basically two pieces of material. So it is kind of pleated on the back there and it is 100% linen. I did pay $6.50 for this, but this I know will sell and probably around $30. I'm just I've sold enough J. Jill and enough linen that I know that. This, the green tags at this store were $1.50. So I paid $1.50 for it. I don't know this brand. I don't think it's an anything brand, but it's mint green. Um, but there were a couple things that I liked about it. One is it was new with tags. It was a 3X and two, it's really cute. So here, I'll try and show you. 
the top it is a sleeveless dress and then this is like beaded and embroidered in there which is really nice and then it has like this floral paisley I think it's a midi dress the bottom layer is like this ruffle with this floral print so I just thought it was really cute nice uh, and for a dollar fifty I mean I would have bought that here at home so it's hard to say no to something that I know I would buy for a dollar fifty at home so this is LL Bean I'm trying to remember I don't think that this is vintage but LL Bean this is a Shetland wool sweater and it has corduroy elbow patches and I did comp this in the store because again this store was a little on the pricey side but I found some yeah so $7.50 that's pretty high for me um, but I think at $7.50 I was looking at selling it for about $50 um, I don't remember for sure this I was so excited my husband was hilarious I was like I found Peter Millar and he was like no way that's amazing and I was like you don't even know what Peter Millar is are you and he's like no <laughs> I'm like well thanks for encouraging me uh so Peter Millar is a men's wear brand and it is apparently like higher end I honestly don't know much about it so here's the um label again it's a size large and it is uh 100% cotton and it's this light blue with this um brown collar, quarter zip. I would call this a sweatshirt. It kind of feels like a micro fleece. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping I can find out more about it to know a little bit more of what, what it is that I have, but I thought it was really nice. I, did I tell you how much I spent on that? It was a lot. $7.50. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but a lot for me. This was another item that was green, so $1.50. And this is handmade, but it has those really cool buttons on it. This is a jumper. And I think it's about as extra large. It has patch pockets. It was really nicely made, but you can tell it's handmade. Um, I'll show you here on the inside with the seams. You can tell that not like professionally finished in like a factory so it is again like academia I will also add modest because it is nice and long probably like a midi style jumper um, yeah I just thought it was very cool and again I would spend a dollar fifty on that here at home so this is Columbia. I, I'm obsessed, I guess, with Columbia. <laughs> Don't go out and buy a bunch of Columbia because it's not that great. But these are kids size large snow pants and it's just the right season for these. And they were only priced at $4. I think I could probably sell these for 20 to 25 just based on like, I know that that's what I would, I pay for them when I'm buying them for my children. This is Pendleton. Again, I've sold a lot of Pendleton blazers recently. And when I say, I mean like five in, the, in a, a month. So um, any Pendleton blazer that is in my price range, I'm going to buy. This was only priced at $4. Their pricing was so weird. This is not a vintage label, but I don't think it matters. I think that Pendleton is just a really well-known and like good quality brand so this is Chico's I buy a lot of Chico's but it was a green tag so a dollar fifty this is a dress and it is just a sleeveless white and tan dress I'm probably not going to sell this anytime soon but for a dollar fifty I know probably in the spring or the summer I shouldn't say I know I don't know but I'm assuming it will sell I have had a lot of luck selling Chico's and like some tablets, but Chico sells better for me. J. Jill, White House Black Market, just those brands do fairly well. This is my one Patagonia find, and it's not a jacket, it is a skirt. 
Actually, I believe it was a skort. It is. So I didn't look it up. I just was excited that I found Patagonia. This was actually buried in a bunch of jeans. They had it priced at $5, which is, you know, reasonable in my opinion. So let's look it up. Okay, it kept changing to skirt. I couldn't find, I did find one exact sold comp, but it was a best offer off of $18. So maybe the 15, I, it could have sold for 17. It could have sold for three. I have no idea of knowing. But the overall like skirt in green and size 10 has a 33% sell through rate. So that's not terrible. Hopefully I can find the exact style of that skirt. Skirt, not skirt. So they had a whole like, like a box, um, not a, like a pallet size box of infant clothes and you just dug through and they were 50 cents a piece. I had a little bit of time. I was waiting on my husband to come pick me up. And so I dug through a little bit and I found this little vintage sailor suit and it still has tags on it. It is so cute. It's hundred percent cotton. It does have some like discoloration on it. So I'm either going to have to like try and spot clean it. I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if that discoloration is going to come out. I might try and spot clean it. And then if I can't, I'll have to take the tags off and wash it, which is kind of a bummer because that was part of the reason I got it. But 50 cents for, you know, little vintage baby clothes, which I like. <laughs> I like little vintage baby clothes. This is a torrid uh, jacket, like a blazer, and I literally sold this exact uh, jacket recently with the ruched sleeves like that. I don't, probably not the same size, but this was four fifty. Actually, it, I would have paid four fifty. Um, it was a dollar fifty, so that's great. Well, it wasn't within the last ninety days, so I don't know how much I sold that for. This is Janu. And it is a scrub top and it was priced at a dollar fifty. So I found quite a few dollar fifty items at this store. And this just looks to be in really good condition. No, it doesn't. There's like something on it. Well man, I hate it when I miss stuff. That's weird. It's like it's melted almost. Okay, well I don't know. Janu had a decent sell through rate. I feel like I remember this having a better sell through rate when I checked it or not a better comp rather this uh is a best offer of eight dollars off of eight dollars so under eight dollars sell through rate would have been 33 percent there was one item sold and two for sale I feel like it was better when I comped it in the store I don't know I feel like that happens sometimes I comp something in the store and I'm like oh yeah that's really good and then I get home and it's not so I make mistakes. I am learning. I've only been doing this for about a year. I don't know if I've said this, but I'll tell you again. Uh, I, this is kind of my part-time job. I was a manager at a coffee shop and it uh, was kind of wrecking havoc on my family. And I'm a homeschool mom and I really just wanted to be home with my kids. And I was talking to my mom and I was like, I need to do something. And she's like, well, try selling stuff on eBay. And so I did. And I just really have fallen in love with it. I'm trying to make about a thousand dollars a month for my family. And for the past year have not for, for 2022, I have been able to do that. So the first three months I was working my way up to that, but had really successful, it's been successful so far. So I've just, um, ended my first year of reselling and I'm really just, I'm just enjoying it. This is my favorite part, this, the buying. So this was the same kind of store. It was the Durham, there we go. The Durham Rescue Mission thrift store. And so this was like a sister store. It was just in a different part of town, which I was really happy with. I like stores that support something. So here in our town, there's one that supports the Humane Society, one that supports the Rescue Mission. Uh, I just really like that. So this is 250. This was 250. This is a little Victoria Secret nighty top thing. So kind of falls in the bra category. Um, yeah, just seems to work well for me. This 
this is Fashion Nova. It is a very, very plunging, very, very mini dress and very, very sequiny and sparkly. And it was new with tags. It is a size extra large. I don't know how, <laughs> but it is. I think I can sell this for $40 and I bought it for $7.50. I did find another, this is Patagonia. I, the comps weren't great for this and there's no tag in it. However, I'm keeping it for me. So it's just a, a green vest. Green's probably not my choice, but I'm just gonna wear it in the woods. So I don't tend to care very much what I look like when I wear things in the woods. <laughs> um, this is, Grace in LA and I did not know this brand but I comped it because check out the bum it's very blinged out and those flap pockets again these are a size 19 which is like a junior plus size and I just thought well I'm gonna check it out and it was good enough for me to buy I do believe they were $1.50 actually because it was still the green tag um, for this store as well. So there were a couple that a couple brands of jeans that I had just never heard of, which I think is interesting. This is Torrid again. What is that? Like the third pair of Torrid jeans that I bought. Uh, these are cropped, raw hem, distressed, and let's see. Does it say what they're called? No. Yeah, it's a boyfriend fit. So, oh, see, this is another one. I didn't know this brand, Crown and Ivy. And this is a high rise flare. They're the size 18. And they just looked really nice. And there was something about the way that tag looked and I was like, you know what? I'm going to look that up. And, oh, it also has like a leather patch. So that was something that made me go, Hmm, I wonder about that. And I don't remember what <laughs> the sell through rate was or anything, but, uh, it was $5. All their jeans at this store were $5. So one more pair of jeans. Again, these are democracy. These have the comfort fit. And these were $5. I think all the jeans were $5 at this store. But um, I'm going to try these on because I really like democracy jeans. And let's see. Right as I was leaving, I saw these. These are priced at $6. <laughs> these are Fox Racing. Let's see. Here's the Fox. That is their branding logo. logo. That's the tag. And these are... Um, like moto racing pants. So there's some like padding here. I don't really know much about this other than like every Fox thing I've bought <laughs> has sold, including like just this week I sold something that was Fox racing. So let me look these up here. So this is what I like to see. This is much better. I searched Fox racing pants 180. So this in the in the label says 180 and I thought that probably means something. I don't really know what it means. And then I did used and read. There were 34 listed and 43 sold. So if I divide 43 by 77, that's the total that were available over the last uh, 90 days, that's a 59% sell through rate. Much better. I like that. That's probably the best sell through rate of anything. And these are all like 25 40 there's one that sold for 50 the ones that look kind of exactly like mine are between 30 and 40 dollars so that's great I am happy with that that's a good you know a good return on my investment and the likelihood that they'll sell is higher because of the self rate being higher so they're just you know I find 
that when I find interesting things, I like to, to look it up. And it's really, you know, they're pants, but they're different than <laughs> what I'm used to. And then this is Bowdoin. This is a US 10 and it is a wrap dress. And it has like kind of that mod, like mid-century modern looking um, polka dot on there. I also love those colors. $6.50 I paid for this. So it is a wrap dress and Bowdoin and wrap dress. That's a good combination. Also feels really nice. I wonder if there's any fancy uh, materials in it. It is viscose. Oh, it's a silk blend. That's great. That's helpful too. So good. I am really excited about all the things that I found. I had so much fun. My husband and I had a wonderful time. I've been married for 20 years. That is insane to me. I don't know how. I'm not that old. Uh, <laughs> except I am. And yeah, so anyway, I just had so much fun thrifting in a different spot that, um, you know, I've never been before, let alone thrifted. So that was really fun. We also saw a little bit of the area. We visited Duke University. Uh, that's where my husband's conference was. And it was just a really great time. We um, got to celebrate our anniversary and spend some time together and sleep in a hotel bed, which is always fun for me. Um, except it's not always fun. <laughs> we always have weird, uh, hotel experiences. So this was no, there was no, uh, no exception here. There was a interesting middle of the night scenario. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching me. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. You can do that right here. And, um, leave me a comment and a like, a thumbs up. It helps my YouTube algorithm stuff. I don't really understand all of it, but that's what they tell me. And I really appreciate it as I'm trying to grow my channel. You can also check out another video right here. I make videos all about reselling, thrifting and what sold and all sorts of fun stuff. So next week will be a throwback thrift haul. So you want to check that out and see what has actually sold from one of the thrift hauls that I've done. I'll see you soon.